Hello, welcome to the Reconvert for Wix recorded demo. Today I am going to go over the process of installing and enabling Reconvert on your Wix store. I am assuming that if you have reached this demo, you already know what Reconvert is, but if you do not, in a few words, Reconvert allows you to upsell and cross sell to your customers on the checkout. It creates a seamless experience of upselling on a checkout to increase your average order value. Reconvert works with Wix e-commerce stores. To install Reconvert on your website, you have to have Wix stores installed and it can also work on your bookings website as long as you also have the e-commerce platform of Wix stores with e-commerce products that you can actually upsell and cross sell. So without further ado, let's jump into it. To install Reconvert on Wix, you have to go to the Wix app market and look for Reconvert. Now I have found the app and I am on the app store listing page. You can go ahead and have a look at the description if you want, the pricing, etc. Now let's just start by installing. I'm going to click add to site. You can see here the access that the app will get to your store click the checkbox and agree and add. Reconvert is now installed on your website and the first thing you see is this pop-up. Let me explain a little bit what this is. To use Reconvert on your checkout, you need to add a widget to your checkout on the Wix editor. To make this easy for you, Wix allows us to just add the widget for you. So in order to see Reconvert on the checkout, you have to add the widget. You can do it manually later, but I really would not recommend it. So I know this pop-up says this widget will immediately be live for customers at checkout, but that's not actually true. It's going to be live on the Wix side. On the Wix editor, you will have the reconvert widget added. However, you do not have to display anything to your customers until you finish setup in reconvert. So I'm going to click add. Now Wix is adding my widget to the checkout. Please note that again, your customers at this point will not see anything. Your checkout will not be affected in any way. Now, before we get started to really start using the app, you have to approve payment. When you approve payment, you will not be charged yet. You have 14 days of a free trial to see the app, see that it generates revenue, that it works for you before you actually have to start paying. If you want to see our full pricing details, go ahead on the Reconvert website, reconvert.io, go to the pricing tab and you will see all the details that you need. I'm going to click submit. And now that Reconvert is installed, we have a one last step waiting for us, which is to actually enable the widget. You will see this pop-up popping up immediately when you land in the Reconvert page. This pop-up allows you to, with one single click, activate the app with our best practices. You can decide the discount code that you want to give to your customers. Since this is checkout and they are a little more advanced than a customer at the product page, I am actually going to make this 15%. You can even go up higher if you want to. Decide the discount code. You can even put it as zero if you don't want to give any discount and just upsell a product. And once you decided on your discount, you can see what this widget is going to look like and the location that it's going to be on the checkout at the bottom of the right side. And you can click activate with most expensive item or set up manually. Now, let me click activate and then I'll explain. There, it's activated. I can go to the dashboard now or go to the checkout editor, which is where I'm currently at. I'm going to stay at the checkout editor to show you guys a little bit around. So this is the widget. You can see here the checkout editor. This looks very similar to the Wix checkout because we are adding a widget to the checkout. We're not creating any new page. How do we use this editor? So this is the preview section where we can actually see our widgets. If I click on a widget, you can see that the widgets settings open up in two different places. The first place is the left menu. Another left menu, this is basically my navigation. I can see both of the widgets that I've added here. And when I click on them, I can see the different things that they are compiled of. Each widget is built out of different blocks and you can hide, delete, show these blocks, add blocks, remove blocks. You can really play around with what this looks like. So this is the left section. On the right section, I have the actual working panel. So for example, I'm now standing on the product upsell widget. Let's change the widget name. Let's call it upsell2, just for fun. 
So I clicked save and now Absol2 is going to be the name of this widget when I go back to my dashboard. Now let's say I want to edit more things. I want to edit the product that is going to be shown here. What I need to do is go to product. And as you can see here, I have the option to choose which product I want to display. The default is the most expensive product in the cart. And I can also choose to show the cheapest product in the cart or a specific product. Let me explain the most expensive product and cheapest product. What we do is we take the either most expensive or cheapest product that is already in the customer cart, depending on what you selected, and show an option to add this product with a discount. This allows customers to, if they were contemplating buying more than one, maybe as a gift, or buying more than one because they were not sure which variant they wanted, this is their option to take the other variant for a discount. And what we've seen throughout the years working with free convert with different e-commerce stores is that this is very good at converting customers to actually accept the offer. So this is why that's the default. However, you can also say you want to show a specific product and then you can decide which product to show. So let's say I want this retro chair. I'm going to select it. And the retro chair is the product that will be shown. Now I can also say that if this product is already in the cart, I want to show something different. I'm going to keep it as show this product anyway. And I'm going to click save again. Amazing. It is now saved. Let's change one more thing here before we move on to see what it actually looks like. Let's say I don't want to show the product description. You can see here the product description that the customer can actually open. So maybe I don't want to show that. That takes up a lot of space. And in some cases, the description is just too long. What I can do is go to the left menu and look for product description. Here it is. Now I can either decide to not display product description at all. Or if I want to, I can decide to display an alternative product description. So let's say this is a wonderful chair. This is my new description and I can have it either collapsed or expanded by default. Let's do collapsed. And I can also change the text of the button of description, but I'm going to keep it as is. And for the sake of demonstration, let's say I only want to show one upsell here. So instead of deleting this, I'm actually going to click hide and I only have one upsell. Amazing. This is what it looks like right now. You can add up to 10 different widgets here. So you can add 10 different product widgets if you wanted to. There is no limitation. I do not necessarily recommend it because this is going to be a little much for your customers. So we're going to stay with just one for now. One important note is I know that this is only one location that you can add the widget to and there are a lot of other real estate sections in the checkout. This is something we're working on and will very soon allow you to add it to different locations as well as control which product to show depending on different conditions. So stay tuned. This is going to be released very soon. Now let's save. One last thing I want to mention. As you can see, there are a lot of options here that I didn't go through. One is because they are kind of intuitive. We have the price, we have the button, you can control the design and the text. You can really play around with the widget to make it what you want it to be. However, instead of going for each one of them right now, I do recommend that you use the pop-up in the beginning to set it up at first and then start playing around with everything. It's going to help you really get to know the app and make sure that you understand what you want to do in each section. If you have any questions, we have our lovely support team in here that you can reach out to and ask questions questions from and we also have our help videos for each section in the app and this will allow you to really see the different details that you want to see about how to use the app more in detail than this video. The purpose of this video is to get you started and to get you to understand how to use reconvert. So I'm going to save and now let's exit and go to the dashboard. Okay, we are on the reconvert dashboard. You can see that we are back on the Wix admin panel of your store. So it is embedded in Wix. And if you go to your right menu, you will see reconvert right here. Or you can navigate to it for apps, manage apps and get to reconvert. So what do we see on the dashboard? We see analytics. We are very committed to giving you the right results with the app and actually making sure that you can control your ROI on Reconvert. And in order to do that, we know that you need to see exactly how much money you're making, how many impressions you're having, how many clicks, your click-through rate and conversion rate. These data points are going to help you improve over time on your widget and make sure that you are putting the right offer in front of your customers at the right time. 
So as you can see, there are not a lot of data points on my store because I've just installed the app and I really don't have any new information. I can play around with the data here. The default is the last 30 days. I can go back to the checkout editor by clicking this button and I can go back to the help section by clicking help and pricing. Lastly, I can turn the entire app on and off here. So if for some reason you want to stop showing your widget, you can just turn it off here and turn it on right here. It doesn't delete any of the widgets that you've just created. They are still there. It just turns it off and on. Now to the most exciting part. Let's see this in action. Let's see what it looks like on my store. So this is my store and let's just go ahead, get to checkout with a product and start seeing. I'm going to choose this beautiful vase. Now let's add this to the cart. I'm just going to choose a white color. Et voila, view cart. And now to the moment of truth, let's go to checkout. Right, so I am in the checkout. And as you can see, right below the details of my order, I have the upsell of the retro chair. I can see the image and I can see that I'm getting a discount. And if I click on the description, I can see the alternate description that I've added. My button is a secondary button and I do recommend keeping it as secondary, even though you can turn it primary because in the checkout, our end goal is to get customers to actually continue to check out. The upsell is a great addition, but we don't want to take away from the actual next step of checkout. The nice thing about it is that when the customers go through these different stages of checkout, this is going to stay here. So even if they do continue, they're going to get the option to accept the upsell later. Let's just choose a black chair and edit. The item was successfully added to the cart. I can see it right here and I can also see the discount from Reconvert that goes off of the order. Now the customer can continue to complete their purchase and you've just added an extra $12 to their order just like that without putting too much effort in. This is it. This is how to use Reconvert. As you can see, there are a lot of options and a lot of things you can do, but it is so simple to get started. I hope this video helped. And if you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to our support either after installing the app through the chatbot or you can reach out to us via our email at care at reconvert.com. Thank you for being with me and good luck with your upsells.